Hi everyone, I'm Pauli. Let's do some Japanese. Today we are going to talk about TEDE form of Japanese verbs. In my last video, which was about Japanese verbs conjugation, I told you that there are three groups of Japanese verbs and every group has five bases, five forms, uh, which we need to um, make all grammar constructions in Japanese. And actually there is a the form, it's a sixth base, sixth form of Japanese verbs, because it has all the same characteristics as a, as a form, as a base of Japanese verbs. But uh, officially it is called the de form. Uh, today we are gonna study how to make it and how to use it. By the end of the video, I think you are going, going to be professional users of TEDE form because it's a controversial topic for every learner in Russia or in the United States because it's, it's really not so easy, but I'll do my best to make it easier for you. Let's start. In the third group, there are uh, only two verbs in the third group of Japanese verbs. Kuru, to come and suru to do, kuru kite, suru shite. For example, kite kudasai, come, please, come. Suru shite kudasai, do something, please, do it, please. And uh, different verbs which are constructed from kuru, suru, for example, motte kuru, to bring something, will become motte kite. So we change only this part or benkyo suru to study benkyo suru benkyo shite only these forms only this is changed yes third group the easiest kuru kite suru shite kuru kan suru du second group and it's easy as well we just change ru into te te miru to watch, to look, mite, taberu, to eat, tabete, osieru, to teach, osiete. We just take ru and change it into te, taberu, tabete, osieru, osiete, miru, watch, taberu, eat, osieru, teach. For example, grammar construction, do something please, in a polite way. Miru, mite, mite kudasai, te form plus kudasai, please. Mite kudasai, watch please, or look at something, please. Mite, taberu, to eat, tabete kudasai, eat please. Oshieru, teach, oshiete kudasai, please, teach me or please let me know something. And the most controversial, the most <laughs> um, hated form by everyone, every student, um, it's the first group's TD form. But it's not as difficult as you might think. We just need to know really, really good which verbs are be which verbs belong to the first group. But if we know it. Uh, then it's not so difficult. U. Verbs uh, that finish with U, like kau to buy. U changes into te. Te. Kau katte. Buy something, please. Katte kudasai. Buy. Tsu. Um, the verbs uh, ending with tsu become the verbs te matsu to wait wait for me please matte kudasai matte tsu to wait matte aru to be about um uh, about things not about um living objects aru atte ru te aru atte utsuru change into tte Ku changes into ite. For, exa for example, 
kaku kaite. And the yonder exception is to go. Iku itte. It ends with ku, iku. But it doesn't become ite, it becomes itte. Iku itte. There are no more exceptions here. Uh, the verbs ending with gu become those ending with ide. De form. Yeah, it's tain te de form. This one is de form always. Uyogu to swim, uyoide. To swim, uyoide kudasai. Please swim, uyoide. Those ending with mu, bu, nu change into mde. So it's also de form. Yomu to read. Yonde kudasai. Yomu, mu becomes mde. Yonde. And mind that yobu to call, for example, to call a taxi becomes yonde as well. They are the same. Kanzi character is different, but yonde, yonde, because mu and bu become nde. And shinu to die. Shinde. Oh. Shinde. Shinde. Um, and the last. Um, and then it's su. Su becomes shite. Hanasu to talk, to tell something. Hanashite. Watasu to pass something over. Watashite. Kono zaishi o watashite kudasai. Watashite kudasai. Pass it over to someone. And now let's move on to some exercise. Let's start practicing. Te de naide forms of Japanese verbs. The first slide is dedicated to the third group. In this third group, we have only kuru and suru. Kuru in its te form becomes kite and suru becomes shite. Other verbs with suru are actually nouns plus suru to do something, to do walking, to do studying, and so on. All of them become the same noun plus shite. Sampo suru, to walk, to go for a walk. Sampo shite. Let's practice with other verbs with suru. Benkyo suru, to study. It becomes benkyo shite. For example, before your exam, benkyo shite kudasai. Shiken no mae ni benkyo shite kudasai. Ryori suru, to make food, to cook. Ryori, food, suru, to do. Oh, in our case, with English language, it becomes to make. Ryori suru, to cook. Ryori shite, to go for a trip. To go abroad or to go somewhere on leisure. Ryoko suru, ryoko shite, to prepare. For something, jumbi suru, jumbi shite. Can you see there are pretty difficult kanji or characters, hieroglyphics here, but we do not do anything with them. We cannot change them in any way. We can change only this suru, so we change suru. Uh, next one, denwa suru to make a call, to call, to phone, denwa shite. And the last one, soji suru. Uh, to clean up. Soji shite. Then, then let's move on to the second group. It is pretty easy as well because every verb in this group ends with ru, iru o eru, phonetically. I think you remember this one. And um, to make the form, we just, just have to uh, change ru or masu. In this case, masu is okay as well. Uh, change, changing it into te form. For example, taberu to eat. Tabemas, I eat every day or I will eat, becomes tabemasu. Tabete, neru to go to bed. Nete, okiru to get up. Changing ru into te, okite. Kariru to borrow. Karite, miru. To look or to watch, mite. Iru, to be about animals and people, 
um, ite, ru into te. te. <laughs> Let's practice with the examples. Doa wa kete kudasai. Which picture is this? This one, right? Doa wo akeru to open the door. Doa wo akete kudasai. Could you please open the door? All these forms with kudasai are not informal. All of them are formal. Next one. Wakaranai toki te o agete kudasai. Which one is this? Uh, this guy is uh, holding, <laughs> is, is raising his uh, hand as well, but wakaranai uh, toki. Wakaranai toki te o agete kudasai. When you do not understand, please raise your, raise your hand. Shower o abite asa gohan o tabemashita. First, I had a shower and then I had my breakfast. Shower o abite abiru. Shower o abiru to have a shower. Shower o abite te form. Asa gohan o tabemashita. I had my breakfast. And now we are going to deal with the first group. It's the most difficult for everyone and uh, I want to thank the group of uh, the channel, YouTube channel Kanji Link for this picture. I personally um, encountered th this picture like 10 years ago and uh, uh, I am very grateful for that because it is really um, very useful and uh, clear for understanding. So, what do we do with the first group um, verbs? All of them which uh, are iru, eru, but not the second conjugation, but uh, um, verbs that are exceptions, uh, there are kaeru or hashiru, they become uh, first group, or uh, verbs like uh, which end with oru or aru or uru, uh, they are in the first group as well. And all the other verbs ending with mu, bu, mu, tsu, su, gu, ku, u. What do we do with them in order to get our te form? Those ending with u, tsu, ru, we change into te. For example, kau, to buy, katte. Matsu, to wait, matte. Aru, to be, atte. Those ending with nu, bu, mu, they become nde. I already said they, that in two videos, so I'll, I'll just go through it. Ku, ending with ku, become ite. The only exception is iku ite. Gu ide, su shite. Example of using ku. Kiku, to listen, kite. And we are moving on to usage. First... Uh, First example of using the te form is what has happened and still and is still actual at the moment. For example, ano hito. Ano otoko no hito wa futotte imasu. This guy is full bodied or this guy is plump. Ano otoko no hito wa futorimashita. He he gained some weight and now he is in. Uh, it is still actual. Uh, yeah, so, ano hito, ano otoko no hito wa futotte imasu. Uh, there, is a, there is a word, futoi, but it's not for people. We do not say that uh, someone is futoi. We can say that the marker or a tree is futoi, but um, a person futotte imasu. Ano, onno no hito wa yasete imasu. This woman is slim or skinny. Yaseru to lose weight, so now she's yasete imasu. And sensei, sensei ga kite imasu. Sensei is here. Uh, so he kimashita, he came, and now he is still here with us. Then we say that sensei ga kite imasu. He came and he is with us. He is here. Um, so we do not say usually sensei ga kimashita. Uh, this will mean that uh, he kimashita, he, he came and I don't know, maybe he 
he left after that. But uh, sensei ga kiteimas means that the teacher is still here. The next case of using um, te form plus imas is um, an equivalent to present continuous or present progressive in English when we are speaking about something with what is happening now, something that is in progress. Uh, for instance, iku to go. We are going for a trip. This one. Uh, let's practice with the verbs of the first group ending with ku. Uh, iku itte. Uh, you remember this is an uh, exception. Actually, this is the exception because it's the only one exception in this group. Iku itte. Itte imas. Kaku to write. Kaite. I'm writing now. Kaite imas. Kiku kiite. I'm listening now. I'm. Watashi wa kiite imas. Naku to cry. Naite imas. Hataraku to work. Hataraite imas. I'm working. Saku to blossom. Saite imas. Um, the first picture. The girl is listening. Onna no ko wa kiite imas. This girl is writing. Onna no ko wa kaite imas. This lady is working. Hataraite imas. Ano onna no hito wa hataraite imas. Um, the flower is in blossom. O hana wa saite imas. And the uh, child is crying. Kodomo wa naite imas. And there is another case of using te de imasu, um, which is uh, equal not to present continuous, but to present simple or even present perfect. For example, I'm recording a video. I'm doing it, I'm doing it right away, right now, present continuous. Ima video wo tsukutte imasu. I live in Moscow. This is present simple. Uh, this is just a fact. It's it is, is not even related to the past. Um, in Japanese, we use uh, here the same form te imasu. Watashi wa Moscow ni sunde imasu. I'm married. Watashi wa kekon shite imasu. This um, this type of um, uh, sentences like I'm married or um, I gained weight or something. It's related to the past. Uh, please look at this picture. They are, can you see this? Mashita. They are kekkon shimashita. They got married. And now they are married. Kekkon shite If they divorce someday, they will be the same. They rikun suru uh, and then they so we do something and if it's still actual for today, uh, we say this and so on. Next one. Mr. Yamada works for the company. Present simple is just a fact about Mr. Yamada. Yamada-san wa kaisha de hataraite imasu. And uh, here we, we can use as present continuous or um, present simple. It's, uh, it depends on what we are going to say. For example, all of you study Japanese, present simple, or you are studying Japanese at the moment with this video, right? But um, they become the same. They are just the same in Japanese. Nina-san wa nihongo benkyou At the moment, or in general, and the last one, I have a cat. I hope you are not hearing it snowing right now. I'm hearing. Watashi wa neko wo katte imasu. Kau, not that cow to buy, but cow to, to have a pet, um, to take care of a pet. Watashi wa neko wo katte imasu. Unlike English, verbs to live, to have, to know, to think, and so on are often used in continuous form. Te imasu. 
For example, I do not think Japanese is that hard to learn. 日本語はそんなに難しくないと思っています。と思っています。I think that. It's like I'm thinking. But I think it in general. I believe that.、Uh, next one. He lives in Great Britain. あの人はイギリスに住んでいます。He lives. He's not staying there for a month or something, but he lives just present simple. In Japanese, it's just the opposite to English. Sundeimas, sumu, to live somewhere, sundeimas. And、uh, I know that. Kore o s h i t t e i m a s If you know something, you always s h i t t e i m a s You are knowing it. Yeah? In Japanese logic. But if you do not know, これを知りません。So, no need to use the form here. If you do not know, 知りません。Negative form of てで form, form is ないで、uh, How to make it? First base of a verb plus ないで。買う、買わないで。To buy, not to buy. Without buying or do not buy it, please. Different、uh, variations of usage, but kate、uh, and the opposite will be kawanaide. Matsu to wait, matanaide. First base. Yomu, the first base is yoma, yomanaide. The, these three are the first group, the first conjugation group. The second, miru, miruere, minaide, taberu, tabe naide. So, naide instead of ru. And the third group, kuru, ko naide. Kuru, this,、uh, the first base of this verb is ko. Then, ko naide. Suru, shinaide. Junbi suru, to prepare. Junbi shinaide. When、uh, we talking about the following actions, we use te form in the middle. Te de. Plus doing something after having done something. Or naide without doing something. For example, Hachiji ni o kite, kohi o nomimas. I get up at eight and then drink coffee. Usually, or I'll plan, I, I'm planning it for tomorrow. Asa goha no tabe naide, gakko e ikimashita. Without eating my breakfast. Without having breakfast, I went to school. Today or yesterday, it's the past form. Asagohano tabenaide. Without doing it, this tabenaide form. And some materials from the Japanese internet using this tede and naide form plus kudasai. Tede kudasai, please do something. Naide kudasai, please do not. Imperative mood. The first one. Kekkon shite kudasai. Please marry me. Kekkon shite. Next one. Ano anime, zettai ni mite kudasai. You must see, please see this anime. Watch it. Mite kudasai. Next one. バスが止まるまで立たないでください。Please do not get up before the bus stops. たつ、to get up, to stand up. I'm sorry, to stand up. たたないで、do not stand up. Next one. タニガワさん、詩を一つ作ってください。Mr. タニガワ、please make a rhyme, make a poem. Make one poem, please. To make tsukuru, it's the first group. Tsukute kudasai. And the last one, mitsu no ureshisa o jikkan shite kudasai. Ureshisa is joy. Three kinds of joy, three joys. Or feel kudasai, feel please. Jikkan suru, jikkan shite kudasai. And some more. Te de nai de plus kudasai imperative mood. Kanojo shinji nai de kudasai. 
Since you do to believe, so do not believe her or do not believe your girlfriend. Kanojo shinji naide shinjiru the the second group shinji naide kudasai. Next one here, shitte kudasai shiru to know. Please know this. Keep in mind this. Next one, douka wasure naide kudasai kodomo no koto. Please do not forget about uh, the children, about kids. Vasure naide kudasai, vasureru to forget. It's the second group. Vasureru, vasure naide kudasai. Next one. Neko ni esa o atae naide kudasai. Please do not feed the uh, cats, the street cats. Why? I don't know, but do not. Esa is food. Esa o atae naide. Don't give food to them. Poor kitties. And the same, but in another characters, in another alphabets. But the uh, the sense is the same. Nora neko ni esa o agenaide kudasai. Agiru, the same as atairu, to give. Agenaide kudasai. Thank you for your attention.